Peters on the direct snap. Taylor's got the corner. Kelvin Taylor down the sideline. And he is all the way down inside the 20. Kelvin Taylor breaks loose for 33. Frankie Velez will get the chance. This has been a trouble spot for the Gators this year. Velez, however, has no trouble whatsoever from 27 yards out. A long drive for the Gators, but they have to settle for three. Man in motion. Here's the first option play. Quick pitch and lots of running room. Across the 30-35 and run out of bounds. Same school that produced Florida's Patrick Young in basketball. Fumbles the snap. It's a loose ball. It'll be picked up, and there's the tackle right there at the 34-yard line. The Gators get a big play on special teams on the drop snap. Four or five for six on the year. He'll try another one. And it's blocked. Georgia Southern picks it up and will run with it. And he will be collared and dropped at the 16-yard line. Geb Hart, we believe, got a paw on it. And Georgia Southern will take over. Georgia Southern, which drove it on the first possession, a penalty helped Florida get the stop on him. And now Florida more across the football. And the Gators have gotten it back again. Two turnovers for Georgia Southern. Third and goal. Morningwood looking, nobody there, still looking. And he'll throw that one to the end zone. Touchdown! Solomon Patton, who was on the left side. Nice job of buying time. Nice little spin move option this time. And Ellison takes it into Florida territory down to the 46. That time didn't happen, and it was a 21-yard gain. They run the option to the left side. Ellison turns it upfield and is close to another first down at Georgia Southern. And with the big man inside, and he's still on his feet, fighting forward, first and goal. Irving Huggins out of St. Cloud, Florida. The ball was stripped. The officials say he did not get it in time. And uh, the replay guys may get involved now. We'll see. Now one official is pointing Florida's way. Now they say it is a Gator ball. He's got the keeper. All kinds of running room. My goodness. Ellison will go all the way for the touchdown. Nobody got close to the freshman, Kevin Ellison. After 16 yards, my guess is they will make him use the timeout. And they will. Loss of another two or three yards. And there's 55 seconds left, and Florida will have to punt it away. Or will they run it and take that 10-7 into the locker room, and that's what they're going to do. Didn't get to the first down mark, and it is halftime here in Gainesville. The Florida Gators got the first 10 points of the ball game. We're moving along pretty good, but they got pinned deep, got a poor punt. And a 45-yard run by Ellison. And just like that, it's a 10-7 ball game. Let's go down to Bernie. The 25. Here we go with the second half. A little counter pitch. There's running room. And out to the races. McKinnon will be caught and knocked to the ground at the 9-yard line. But the first play of the second half is good for 66 yards. Fourth and goal. Sneaks it. Touchdown. Uh, Jones. I mean, just a lot of things. Only pitch. Plenty of running room inside the 30 and down to the Florida. It's Trey Butler inside the Florida 30, right around the 27-yard line, and just it may well end up being. Pitch to the outside. Cutting it in, staying in bounds, getting it inside the five. It'll be first and goal for Georgia Southern. As Touchdown. William Banks right in the end zone didn't see a Gator till he was a yard deep and it's a 10 point lead with the conversion coming the extra point off the upright 
No good. You can't return it. <laughs> you score at least 10 more. High and short kick. Patton got a seam. Stays in bounds. One man to beat. And he's run out of bounds. And that's the middle screen caught by Patton. And Patton down to about the 11 yard line. And uh, Patton over the top. Vela is with the field goal try and he makes it. So Florida gets within a score with the field goal. Looks at. Running right side through the tackle is Govan and he's into Florida territory at the Gator 48. So inside run breaking the tackle and the Gators stop him. Gator defense makes the play. That's Marcus May at the end of it, number 20. Your last possession as much as Georgia Southern can eat up clock. Breaking it outside Taylor across midfield. And he'll go out of bounds with 27 passing yards in this game. He'll look for more. Morningwood drilled as he throws it deep. He's got a man. Touchdown, Solomon Patton. Third down and two. They run inside and it opens wide open. Banks down the middle of the field inside the 30 will be caught from behind as the game. At least four settle for a field goal try. To the corner. McKinnon. Touchdown. And he might have picked up 15 afterwards. It's a 14-yard run, but a couple of flags after the score. But to Solomon Patterson. Give the Gators some confidence in throwing the football. He pushed it. Second missed extra point. He'd missed only one all year coming into this game. By the time he finally does throw the football. And second and long. He steps up. Fires down the middle. Quentin Dunbar first down. Florida lost seven seconds to before they snapped the ball. Here's Dunbar. Dunbar fakes to the sideline. Gets the first down. Dunbar. Yeah. On third down. Morning went deep. He's got a man. Dunbar. Incomplete. A little too high. Dunbar was open. End zone. Caught. No, it got away. It got away. Patton got a hand on it. The clock shows no time left, so it wouldn't matter if he'd have held on anyway. Georgia Southern has beaten the Gators.